welcome to Take Out Thursday. The best burger I've ever had. It's so good. Welcome to another Takeout Thursday episode where we are on the search for the best takeout foods here in Manila. And today we are in for a treat because we are going to try probably the best burger in the world. And we have it right here in Manila. We are back here at the at actually my favorite studio in the world at the Waiki studio and they had a burger menu that looks absolutely insane they have one specific burger it is a 100 dollar burger with the most exclusive beef in the world and it doesn't have just one type of beef it has two types of beef it is layered a beautiful patty and on top you have a kobe pastrami so this is going to be absolutely absolutely insane we're also going to try a second one on their burger items on the burger menu which is a katsu burger so you have a little kobe uh, beef cutlet that is deep fried put into a burger it is mind blowing mind blowing we already see the ingredients for our burgers here potato buns some beef some cheese and then of course everything will be assembled here with yes. a nice sauce juicy all come from there secret secret will be revealed in a bit Say it out loud. So what is, uh, what is in this patty? Alright, so this, uh, our patty is of course uh, our wagyu. So this is, uh, we just get a particular cut of uh, the A5, uh, depending on what comes, right? And then, uh, so what we do, we just uh, get that part whole, and then uh, we just brine it for days, uh, we cure it for days. And then uh, after that, uh, once the whole uh, process is over, we do smoke it in our toss from here, and then uh, I would say for about a day or so. I think uh, you're pretty excited. The flavors are going to be insane. I mean, come on. I love burgers. I love Kobe. I love smoked things. This is going to be so good. Okay. See you later. Let that sleep. Okay. Thumbs are in there. Patty is in there. Pastrami is waiting here. I guess the cheese will be torched. And we have some salad. For the healthy Just, uh, aspect. The healthy part. <laughs> <laughs> Why does my doctor keep saying I have to eat healthier? Look, I'm having a salad. Yeah, you're having a salad. <laughs> and honestly, it's a torture to stand here and wait because I'm hungry and it already smells so good. So all like my mouth is watery already. I can't wait to bite into this burger. This is uh, your Menchi burger, right? So this is uh, also your uh, Wagyu patty. But what we did is we just uh, breaded it and then uh, deep fried it. So this is uh, straight out of the fryer. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna dip this whole thing and uh, coat it in uh, your katsu sauce. So put it in there. Let that soak. And then take it out. Then uh, let that drip as well. That looks absolutely delicious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the assembly!
decoration, we're adding the fries. Those look mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. Yes, of course. Mm. Okay, our burgers are ready to be eaten. I think we have to hurry, Mike. Yeah. Because this is something that needs to be consumed yes. immediately. I'm sure the police will clear the streets for me to go like at high speed once I <laughs> find out the sensitive uh, load that we are carrying. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much. Yes. Um, I think for us it's time for the taste test. Yes. They brought the product back home. We have here the WS Menchi Katsu Burger. <gasps> Look at this packaging. Yeah, it's like birthday. And then the second burger we have here is the Kobe Pastrami Burger. Unboxing! Unboxing! Look how beautiful this is to open up. Yeah, it is. Hello! Hello, happiness! <laughs> okay, we have two dips here, a katsu sauce and Japanese mayonnaise. Oh no, it's, a, it's an aioli. Aioli! An aioli. Okay, quick taste test of the fries. I'm gonna dip the fry in the aioli. Wow. I'm going to dip the fries in the aioli as well. So it took us around, I would say, 50 minutes to get home. And, and still crunchy. Everything is still crunchy, so yeah. that's a good sign. Exactly. And the aioli has mm, so much good stuff in there. I think there's mustard as well. Definitely, yeah. And what else is in there? Garlic, maybe? Happiness. Mm. Happiness. Oh, definitely tastes like happiness. So this one comes with, uh, this is also mustard, but this is whole grain mustard. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let's get this beauty out here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. The smell, guys. The smell. The lovely, melty cheese. Oh. Okay, let's do this. This is the world's best burger. Mm. <laughs> wow, juicy, rich, and then all of these soft, beautiful flavors, and then the smoky, tender, juicy, fall apart, fall apart pastrami on the top. The cheese is just so perfect. Everything is just so perfect. This is the best burger I've ever had. Nelly, mm? savor this moment. I will. <laughs> it's like birthday and Christmas fell together on one day. Okay, ready? Yes. Wow, it's so much beef in here. Love the cheese. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, I thank you. You pointed out all the flavors. It's so good. Wow. Also, like the smokiness of the pastrami is so good. Oh, and the cheese. What kind of cheese is this? It's so delicious. Oh, and look who came here to pick what's what's on the table, huh? No Kobe beef burger for you, Kitty. <laughs> so today I read a quote on Instagram that is very accurate for this burger. Never let the recipe tell you how much cheese to put in. You measure that with your heart. I'm so happy about the cheese that is still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we have the katsu burger. This is a big boy. Wow, I don't even know where to start. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Very juicy inside. Very rich. The cabbage gives it such a nice uh, contrast to the rich deep fried burger patty. And then this katsu sauce. Oh, it's so nice. A little bit of sweet, a lot of acidity. Mm. Yum. <laughs> wow. Look at all the layers. Here. Yeah. So good. Okay, quick taste test on my side as well. Lovely to see there's cheese in there as well. And it smells different. Mmm. Smells so good. Oh. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, tastes very different because you have the because you have the breading that adds so much different flavor to the burger, if that makes sense. And then we have a hint of sweet, a hint of acidity in a good way. And yeah, I think this burger definitely needs the cabbage because it is, as Mike said, a big boy. <laughs> Whew. 
we're finished. Almost there are just a few fries left over. But wow, that was the best takeout experience I would say that we had in a very, very long time. Um, yeah, according to our opinion, it was the world's best takeout burger that we ever had. So good. But you mustn't forget, this comes with a price tag. For each burger, high quality premium meat it has been used. Ingredients are top notch. So, what's the verdict, Mike? Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah? <laughs> I think if people want to give it a try, they can also share. Yes. Because it was a huge portion. Yeah, huge, and especially because the the Wagyu meat is very filling mm -hmm. and you don't want to stuff yourself with it, you really just want to savor the flavor. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Uh, the one with the pastrami. Yeah, I can definitely see why this one is a bestseller. It's really, really good, well worth it. And yeah, that was our Take Out Thursday episode for today. Yes. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to give this Wagyu burger a try. We will put all the details in the description box down below. And we will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. Make it happen. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. Here we go again, Nelly.